Um, so hi everyone, my name's Stella and I'm going to be talking to you today about a mathematician's year in industry. So I'm just going to cover a bit about me, what a year in industry is and why you would do it, some opportunities with IMA corporate affiliates and then just cover a bit about my experience. So about me, as Shamia said, I am a mathematics undergrad at the University of Manchester. And um, prior to that, I went to Blackburn College where I got my A-levels in mathematics, chemistry and media studies. And um, so I'm currently on my undergraduate placement year. So I decided once I got to university that I wanted to extend my degree programme by a year and do a placement year. So I'm working in applied mathematics and doing a lot of mathematical modelling. And some things that I outside, enjoy outside of maths are cooking and walking with my dog. So what is a year in industry? A year in industry is when you add on a year to your degree, usually between your second and third year. Um, but if you do a master's, it could be between your third and fourth year. And during this year, you go out into the workplace as a full time employee and you work. So part of this um, is that you would have a salary as you are an employee. And usually a placement student gets paid between 15 and 20,000 pounds. And that's just dependent on the area where you're working or the job. So that can vary. Um, just quickly, a little bit of information about funding, because I know it can be quite daunting sometimes. It's a bit, there's a lot of information. So whilst you're on your placement year, you're still technically a student. But um, so that means you still have to pay your tuition fees. But because you aren't utilising the university as much, they're most likely going to be reduced. And that reduction varies between university, but it's usually reduced to about 20 percent. And student finance will still cover this year, so you don't have to worry about any funding. Um, it will just be added on to your normal tuition fees like normal. And you can also still apply for a maintenance loan if that would be something that you would be worried about. And the only difference to a normal maintenance loan, which is calculated by taking in the earnings of your parent or carer, this is a no means tested maintenance loan. So everyone gets the same amount. So why would you do a year in industry? A year in industry for me was all about gaining as much experience as possible. Because when you're at university, you're learning all these theorems, you're learning how to solve the problems, get the answers, but sometimes it's hard to realise where this fits into the real world. How would this translate across to a job? So having a year in industry means you'll be exposed to all these unique opportunities where you can use this skill set you have developed at university in a real life problem. You can see how it is used to find a solution and this is going to make you look very employable and you're going to stand out in the crowd. You're also putting your foot in the door. So you're early on in your university career, you're building up a network with the company that you're working at and this is great because then you can start thinking about future careers and it's also a really great opportunity to try an industry and just see if you like it so I know for myself personally I didn't know what I wanted to do after uni I still don't really know but I thought this is going to be a great chance for me to just try something and see if I like it there's no harm in that so some opportunities you can get with IMA corporate affiliates. So these are companies that the IMA have verified their undergraduate placement scheme. So they know it's going to be good, basically. So a main thing you can get is like pre professional registration. So that is your IMA membership and your work will most likely pay for this. And from this, you get some really great opportunities to attend conferences, things like this and other ones in different areas. And this is really great if there's things that you're interested in, but also if it's something that is related to your work, you could also ask work to fund it and then you can just use it as personal development. A really great opportunity that I have found the most utilising um, is the training courses. So obviously when you start a job, they're not going to expect you to know how to do your job straight away. They're going to teach you how what you need to do. And from this, you can have an opportunity to learn a lot of skills that you wouldn't yet have learned at university. So I've done some training courses in software that I've been using, coding things like Python, and um, I've also done some training courses in stats. Um, in a workplace as well, it's always great to have a mentor, someone you can look up to and ask for help. So 
it's really great to have a technical mentor, someone that maybe works on something similar to you, that you can ask for advice, a bit of guidance if you get stuck on something, but also a professional mentor because you want to continue developing yourself whilst you're at work. And this is really great if you want to maybe look towards chartership in the future. Soft skills development is something that I think is very valuable. It's what you will start to develop probably at college, school, uni, when you're doing presentations, you're working in a group. But having the chance to develop these skills in a workplace is just going to further your ability. And similarly with the technical skills, these are the skills that you're learning at university and now using in a, the workplace. The opportunities you will get to develop these skills are going to be invaluable. So just a bit about the maths that I use. So I do a lot of fluid mechanics and coding, two things that I personally wouldn't have seen myself doing, something that I'd done a little bit at university and never really looked into. Um, I also do some work with solving differential equations and then just plotting data, problem solving, finding problems, patterns in data, all the analytical things that as a mathematician, we are all great at. And these just are just a few of things that I use and it just shows the branch of opportunities you can have. So my experience so far has been that, as I've said, I've developed all these skills in area of mathematics that I possibly wouldn't have thought about at university. I may have tried it, not really enjoyed it straight away, but now from this year where I've had the opportunity to do these training courses and learn more about it, I've really enjoyed it. And from this, I've grown massively in confidence in my mathematical ability. because it can be quite daunting being given a big lump of work, which you might never have done before. And now, being able to look back and see how far you've grown is really great for confidence. Um, I've also had an opportunity to try an industry, try an industry that I may be interested in building a career in, which has helped me build a really strong network, not only within the company itself, but with other undergraduate placement students. And it's really great to see what other mathematicians are doing because someone could be doing something completely different to you that you never thought about. And overall, over the past eight months, I've just really found a, my love for being a woman in STEM and it's just opened my eyes to so many more things I could do with my future and it's made me really look forward to going back to uni and continuing my learning. So thank you everyone for listening. I'm happy to answer any questions that you have. I've also put my email on there so if anyone has any questions that they think about after the conference or want any advice I'll be happy to answer any questions for you. So thanks. Thank you so much, Stella. That was absolutely fantastic. It's great to hear all the different skills that you've actually developed um, with your experience with your year in, in industry. And I would never thought of such um, different things that you could have learnt as well um, during your time there. Um, and I would love if any, and I'll just pop over to any questions then. If anyone has it, if they just pop it into the Q&A again. So there's a question. So um, do you learn programming as part of your degree? Um, yes. Yeah, so I think most maths degrees usually have a little introduction um, programming. The software they might use might be different. It might be MATLAB or Python. So before working, I'd done an introduction to MATLAB and I'd done an introduction to Python. But I feel like the skills, you just get the basics once you're actually learning something in the workplace, you quickly develop a lot of skills a lot faster. That's lovely. Next question, what kind of curricular activities do math universities want us to do outside of school or any extra exams? Um, I think anything is great. If you're showing any um, interest in anything. So personally, I have did a lot of music when I was growing up and did like grades and stuff and because music and maths go to well together and that I remember in my university interview I talked about that quite a lot and that seemed to go down really well um, but anything that you're just showing interest in and dedication to and working hard towards I think is valuable. Perfect thank you. And are there a lot of IMA corporate affiliates that offer job placements? Do you know of any that are available at the moment? 
Um, yeah, so there is a few. I've put the link on, I can put the link in the chat that is on the slide that takes you to the IMA page of all the corporate on there. So there's actually quite a lot of companies that sometimes you wouldn't think about that do um, industrial placement. So I know when I was applying to my placements, um, even brands like L'Oreal looking for math, mathematicians, brands like Unilever, um, I also there's a lot of like government things as well. So I think once you start looking, you realise there's quite a lot out there, but I can put the link in the chat so you can have a look for yourself as well. Perfect, thank you. And um, so in addition, mathematics is a subject which I'm really enjoying and would like to do at university. However, I'm not doing any of the other STEM subjects. Would I be able to take mathematics at university? Um, I think personally, probably yes. I don't see, if you've got mathematics and you want to do mathematics, then I don't think that would be an issue. Like I personally did media studies, which is not a STEM subject and that was fine. If So usually the re entry requirements will have mathematics and then the grade and then the other grades are usually can be in anything else. So obviously it depends what university you're going to. Some universities might be a bit more strict about it, but I don't think it would be an issue with the majority of universities. That's lovely. And I think that's all for the questions. Thank you so much, Stella. That was so inspiring. I learned so much from you myself. I'll definitely yeah. take it to my placement as well. <laughs> as yeah. And we will move on to the next talk. Thank you. Thank you.